my my LTB so far has either been like absolute Papega chess or multiple brilliant moves in one game. I, I, there's no in between for some reason. I don't know why. E4, and of course I play the Karo. He plays two knights, but we kind of transpose into this Tartikauer ish uh, line where Black willingly doubles the F pawns. But what's the compensation? The compensation is that we have two bishops that are now open, and we're going to try and develop very quickly and go from there. White now puts a pawn in the center. I play bishop d6. And they play bishop e2, looking to castle. I castle, they castle. Everyone's safe, everyone's happy. The kings are both behind their kingside pawns. And I bring my rook to the central file. This is all very normal. And white actually ends up playing c4. So a lot of times in this line, you actually see a bishop on d3 and queen on c2. And then, uh, you know, just to make sure you don't hang that pawn earlier, like normally like white has a structure on uh, c3 and d4, and they decide maybe they will push c4, maybe they won't. White just saves time, they just go straight for c4. I develop my knight, and my, uh, my opponent just decides to go crazy with their pawns, pushing c4, c5. I back my bishop up, and they develop their bishop. My knight's just perched on f8. Might look a little weird. Because the knight's on f8, it's like, what the heck is it doing? Well, a lot of times the knight uh, is, is kind of counteracting this bishop queen battery. Right now, there's no queen bishop battery, but at the same time, my knight on b8, not really doing a whole lot. And uh, with this doubled f pawn structure, you have to be very careful with black because sometimes if white ends up getting all these pieces attacking on the king side, these pawns can actually be a wall that prevents black from bringing pieces to help defend the king. So I just take care of the king, make sure it's happy. And, and at some point, this knight can always jump forward as well. H3. H3 immediately, um, yeah, okay, it's stopping anything from going to G4, but it's all good. Knight on F8, there's no mate. That's some wise words of wisdom there. That's redundant, but that's okay. Okay, I play bishop E6, developing my bishop, and then I put my queen right behind it. And here I'm already threatening to take the h-pawn uh, because if you just say do nothing, let's just say you make a random bishop move, take, take, I sacrifice my bishop, but uh-oh, this king's out in the open, it's feeling the draft, there's nowhere to, for it to go, and there's not really a whole lot of room, this knight is hanging on for dear life here, but uh, yeah, like... Oh yeah, I guess I moved the bishop. But either way, if at the cost of one bishop, this king is super unsafe, pretty worth it. The other idea here, which you'll see in some of the other lines, is to play knight g6 to play knight h4. And you're like, what? Knight h4, boom, boom, mate, right? Sheesh. So knight h2 is to try and uh, protect the king a little bit, but I played knight g6. Apparently I could have taken on h3 immediately, but remember that knight h4 idea? I'm keeping that in the back pocket, prepping... Bishop takes h3 even more so. They play a3, which I was like, all right, it's go time. Like, we're going all in. The chips are getting pushed in, and we take the free pawn, and they defend with bishop f3. And now it's like, how do I add pressure? Well, we add pressure with uh, knight h4. <laughs> like I said, the foreshadowing has been done. Now, now we're just bringing all the pieces. We got one, two, three, four pieces, and they're just really cramped over here. Not sure how they're going to defend. They try with queen d2. But now I bring my bishop back. And I play bishop e4. Maybe not the most accurate. Supposedly, I could have just... Uh, instead of playing bishop f5, I could just take this. And if they take, then everything's open. I play, bishop, uh, say, I play queen f5 and I transfer my queen over. Um, if they do want to hide over on the h-file, I play queen h5 instead of queen g6. All sorts of problems, right? Uh, like I said, at the cost of trying to sacrifice a bishop, in this case, we didn't even sacrifice a piece. This king is super unsafe. Black's totally happy. Uh, in the actual game, I played a little bit more carefully, and I played bishop f5, bishop e4. We traded, and they played g3. There are multiple winning moves, but what is the absolute knockout blow here? This is probably the coolest move that I've ever gotten to play in an actual over-the-board chess game. Chat, you guys are all hitting the nail on the head. Queen h3, you are threatening checkmate. If the pawn takes, there's big, big trouble. But before we talk about the, the pawn taking, 
Uh, what's like the actual better way of defending? Well, it's, it's either F3 or F4 to defend the uh, G2 square. If F3, then I just take with a queen, and we gotta be happy, right? I mean, the, the this is just like, all sorts of good stuff is happening. Worst case, I'm up a piece. Best case, I'm checkmating white. Uh, something similar if after F4, same type of line, right? Wor worst case, I trade everything off, but I'm up a piece, and I'm happy. But instead, my opponent did end up taking on uh, h4. So they took my knight, and this is a nice little mate in three pattern. Another pause to solve. Go ahead, chat. Do your worst. Did someone say fork? <laughs> I, I, I don't think there was an actually a fork, really. Uh, but I, I just wanted to share this fork. I mean, how could I not? Queen h2. No, 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 no. You have to be careful. Careful with Queen H2. I'm not saying Queen H2 is bad. Look, Queen H2, obviously good. You're winning material. It should be fine. Like, King's still out in the open. But there's still a whole game left to play. The way that you end the game immediately is Bishop takes H2. The King has to move. You're, obviously, you're cutting off every square over here, right? The King has to move. And now you can move this Bishop literally anywhere. I thought, I really genuinely thought about playing like bishop e5 just out of the complete disrespect because like this bishop is clearly hanging but i was like you know what all right let's just be let's act normal act normal kd bishop c7 it's check they move and rook g4 mate i mean look online it might not look so so flashy but playing that over the board woo! i i i that got so much satisfaction out of that you know what? Chess can be beautiful, and uh, this one felt good.